I am a painter. I mostly work with oil and acrylic, but I do acrylic with mixed media. I've been painting, I've been making things since like middle school. In middle school, I was really interested in photography at first because my dad had like a Pentex, you know, manual camera. And so I got interested in photography, but then part of me was like wanting to draw. And so I kind of bypassed a lot of the preliminary drawing classes in high school because I wanted to get to the drawing and painting classes. So I would just have to say like, since high school, I've been wanting to make things. And I, I actually was fortunate enough to go to my dream art school. I went to the San Francisco Art Institute, but going from high school to college, it was kind of a, a weird transition because yeah, I, I wasn't taught like those intro level, like this is how you set things up. You know, it was kind of just like, go start painting. You know, you're an artist, you, you should know <laughs> what, what you should be doing. I'm really inspired by vintage National Geographics. I'm like a big hoarder of National Geographics and like the older the better. I like the old advertisements for, you know, different forms of technology, like old radios and old cameras. Like there's the camera thing again, right? Coming, coming from like the initial inspiration to create is photography. So National Geographics kind of appear in my work. I like to find like, pictures of things to kind of include in my mixed media pieces. Old photographs, you know, that either I find or that come from my family members. Like right now I'm using a lot of reference pictures from my family, like pictures that my family, my parents took like in the 60s and the 70s and even before. When my son was born, I kind of had like a, like a wake up call, you know? I think like the spark to create was reborn in me because my main motivation is to leave something that my son is proud of, you know, kind of like a legacy, like my mom made this um, and she was interested in these questions. She was interested in materials. So yeah, I think my son is my main motivation, like showing him, and I'm gonna get like kind of weepy, showing him that you can, you know, dedicate your time to making your own things, to leaving behind your ideas and your thoughts. You know, artists are the voice, right? We express things that other people don't like think about expressing or they don't take the time to. Yeah, because not everyone has the luxury to to make things, you know, or the time, or the, the, the money, or even the knowledge. So it's kind of, you know, a responsibility to to be that voice. You know, Boise is not a, a, a big a big city yet. <laughs> so I feel like if you know all the artists come together in Boise, we could we could build a really strong community. I think it's starting to build just with being able to connect with everyone on Instagram and social media and, and sharing ideas. So I think if we all come together. Um, we can help each other out. We can support each other. We can, you know, have shows hopefully when, when things open up again. So yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in supporting other artists and helping and teaching. My traffic box is at Cole and Eustick and it represents the four directions. When I found out where it was, um, because I, I run from our house over to that area and when I realized where it was gonna be, like the, the concept came to my mind like, okay, the sun comes up and each side of the traffic box has a different color, symbol, a meaning for the different cardinal directions. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. I mean, not even, um, so this is gonna sound really bad, but I, I have a PowerPoint that I just have saved for when students don't want to work on their artwork. I've only shown it one time, <laughs> but it's people with, artists with disabilities, you know, and what they do to create. So yeah, even if I lost an arm or, you know, lost my, my eyesight, I, I feel like I would try to find a way to like, to make art, to express myself, to create, because it, it, it's been a part of my life since, 
since I was a little girl, you know, wanting to make things, you know, just being curious about materials. So I don't think I would ever stop making art.